Hi guys, welcome to Jason Plays Games. This is the third installment in the Necromancer playthrough. We are spiking into Bone, and we've cleared Act 2 by killing Durio yesterday. We are currently sitting at character level 20, and uh, a few points into strength, all the rest into vitality. I did 10 points into energy, if I'm not wrong. Our skill setup is nothing into curses. One point into clay golem, one point to golem mastery, and all the rest in the poison and bone skill tree. Uh, the point into bone armor is kind of useless now because we have no additional skill uh, buffs from any gear, so it blocks for only twenty damage, which is nothing right now. Uh, teeth synergy for bone spear. That's our main damaging spell. We have not started using corpse explosion yet because uh, the radius is still quite small you know. right so today i'm trying to finish act three and hopefully together with act four also so check on our tomes sorry scrolls and uh we would want to look for a 20 FCR wand. I'm not entirely sure which level do we begin to gain access to it, but just keep looking for it, right? So without further ado, let's head out. That's our skill setup. Yeah. X3, the first portion of it, consists of three maps, Spider Forest, Great Marsh, and the Flayer Jungle. You might not need to go through Great Marsh to reach Flayer Jungle. Right, if you're lucky enough, you'll get a skip. Right, so... And every area has three maps in it. One of them will have nothing. The other one will have the dungeon we are looking for, and the third one will have a waypoint plus another dungeon, which is useless. Right, so which one you hit first is totally luck based. There's no way to tell. Right, so you gotta pray to RNG is this. And you see the Jake figurine drop? That will always drop within the first couple elites or boss groups. Right, it is the quest starting item for a quest called the Get Bin. Sorry, Golden Bird. In which you can exchange for 20 stat points. Sorry, 5 stat points. 5 stat points, yeah. I have Bone Spear already, but sometimes I'm still using Teeth because Bone Spear only hits a line. Right, and Teeth hits a fan shape area, which sometimes is better. So that first area was nothing in it. Let's continue our journey. Space for this zombie head. Golem Mastery Iron Maiden. No.
Hopefully this is the spider cave area. Or well, this may be the nothing area. Come on, spider cave Right, so this is indeed the nothing area. Yep, so we are quite unlucky, if in a sense. Is there an exit? No, there is no exit. This is the empty area. Let's continue. So the third area will be the spider cavern area. Now what we can hope for is we get a skip through Great Marsh. Zombie head, what is it? Corpse explosion, Iron Maiden. Mm, nope. That won't do it. Okay, we are getting a skip to flare and flare jungle. But we still need to look for the third area where the spider cave is. This should be the way to Great Marsh if I'm not wrong. This is actually the area that leads into the spider cave. Yup. Where is the dungeon? Yeah, here it is. This has to be the spider cave because it's the third area we have entered. The chest location is always the same. Oh, that was bad. Well. Yes. Okay. That was kind of awful. Hello, I've re We'll make a quick dash back to our corpse. Okay, luckily it's not that far away. Yep, 
we got to stay back. I gotta keep reminding myself I am a caster. So now the corpse is over there. the area. Horn oh, helm. No. Colleen's eye. And a pile of 8,000 plus gold. Okay. Let's go on to player jungle. Is there a way out here? It's highly possible because we had an exit to Flayer Jungle on the other side. Oh, there isn't. Okay, let's make our let's make our way to Flayer Jungle. That's why. Yeah, I have a feeling I was missing something. Play a jungle. Players, there's just so many of them. Clear this area. Or not. Play it about. We may want to use that. Want be flare dungeon.
Mm. Okay, I kind of hate flares. They're too small to be noticed, in a sense. Alright, so this is nothing area. Sorry, this is the waypoint area. Yep. Let's continue. Try to find a player dungeon. Player dungeon, yep. In the same area you'll see a cauldron. That's the exit to Great Marsh, which I'm not going. So I'll look for the get bin. Here it is. There should be a group of player that approaches us. We can't dig it home. Perhaps Ormus can tell me more about it. I can't carry anymore. And continue our way, try to find lower crust.
I'm closing in to lower crust. And there is an elite group here. Always. and take our TP into okay. player dungeon. Never. You have. Player dungeon. Yep. We have to be extra careful inside here because of Stygian doors. Safety TP in case we die, so we can TP back to our cops. Mm, there we go. Yeah, we went in too deep and we faced enemy from both sides. That is not something to do. Champion group here. Okay. the room up top. Seven percent MF lightning resist. Well, okay, we'll take it. 
Lightning damage, that does nothing. Six to energy, we don't need. Okay, golden bird. Let's get our life. We got 20 life. Just for completion's sake, we will talk to Ashira. Hello? No. Alright, so let's go into Kuras Bazaar and find the ruined temple. Trying to find my way to Kuras Bazaar. In Kuras Bazaar, there are two things to do. One is find the ruined temple that will lead us to the quest, the Black Book, which will give us five stat points. And the second thing is go into the sewers and find the second level of it to retrieve Kalim's heart, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, like I said, when your character is intrinsically weaker than some other classes, so try to clear more stuff. Right, just to be safe. Ah. One step too slow. as long as you feel you may be in danger. the area for a waypoint for the black temple sorry ruined temple this is not it but this might be it so the position of temple is not fixed but the facing of the temple is fixed what i mean is if the temple is facing this way it will be the ruined temple always
That's a good strategy. Throwing spear through the doorway. I can't carry anymore. We got a claymore. Again, okay, use the doorway. Father. Yep. And get out into the sewers. In the sewers, you generally want to hit north. Explore around because the sewer level two can be anywhere. This is the thing that you really need to watch out for. Stygian bowls. I saw it. Head north and come out from Upper Kurast. Straight for traveling call. This is the cool rust causeway. The layout will always be the same.
Get the Travenco waypoint. One, two, two. I would want to shop for a teleporter to get me out of tight situations. You have. Seventy thousand. I barely have any. Okay, but I do have a lot of gems that I can use to. Make some money. Let's return the black book first to clear up some back space. Once the book has served its purpose, I shall delve into its secrets. Hello. Four thousand. Good. Three to Vigor, I'm not sure. Three to Bone the Wall. Reasonable. Still not enough. Is it here? Look at sixty six there. We do not have enough gold. Okay. Level one teleport thirty three charges. Seventy plus thousand, sorry, sixty plus thousand for teleport stuff. It will be worth it. Right now, let's get to Travenco and kill the High Council. Before we do that, let's clear the area. Of any disturbance. This should give us the. Yep. Let's put a flail inside and get our flail. So take it slow with the councils because your character is not strong. Pull them out. Dark power is broken. Right, so we have cleared 
the high councils, but there are still council members alive. That we need to kill. Entering the dear rinse of hate. Still be safe, set waypoints and stuff. Watch out, especially for Stige and Doe. Safety TP again, go in clockwise direction. Just be extra careful in the durance of height. Because of Stigendo. I mean, I should find a waypoint before I find the next level, 
I need. It's okay. I'll do without the waypoint. Set TP here. And uh, yeah, let's clear the room. safety portal stay a while and listen yes dexterity So one side is clear. Find trouble with Mephisto. Okay. I'm gonna mo trick him. That means I am walking this way and then I'll see him across the river. Or will I not? Calm down. Calm down. Yep. He is inside the room. Come out. Here, this way. Yeah, I will make a quick dash. See me on this side? Yep, got him. If you reach uh, when you uh, after you reach level 24, you can use the teleport stuff, and that will make this thing much easier to perform. So you just pull him to beside the river, the blood river, the moat, and you teleport across. But walking does it too. He 
should soon be dead. There we go. We got a level, and we are still pumping into Bone Spear. Get back our Clay Golem for safety. Kite Shield. Journey, okay. Give my Buckler. Yes. No. This chest is super chest. Okay, so if you are doing magic finding, then make sure you take that chest. And with that, we cleared Act 3. Right, because of the extra precaution we took, this clear took a bit of time. A bit longer than my other characters. What do you need? But it's still pretty fast. Right, so that's it for today. I will see you in the next video whereby I clear Act 4 and I'll try to level up to level 25 before we go on to Act 5. Alright, thanks for watching. See you again.